Paul defeat, but I'm sure you would agree that was a, a marked improvement in between matches. Yeah, listen, I, I always say, don't I, I want to enjoy how we play. Um, and apart from the first 20 minutes, I enjoyed the performance. Uh, yeah, I just wish we could have got points out for the players. I wish we could have got points for the fans. Um, but it's an unforgiving league, we know that. Uh, yeah, and, and the difference was, you, you could see it, and it's no disrespect to the players. We're bringing on Antoine and Brooks in there, bringing on Ilanga Wood and Yates. And that's where we're at. It's a great opportunity for those guys, you know, but it, it's a big, big step up and a, and, a, and a tough place to learn your trade. But I thought after the first 20 minutes, we recovered well. Got control for large parts. Um, yeah, and on another day with more firepower at the top end of the pitch, we could have turned that into three points easily. And also at this level, every mistake is punished. You know, Lowe was unfortunate, but then it led to a goal. It was a bit of a mistake and ultimately a great cross for Wood, who, who won the game. Yeah, so the first one, yeah, it's an error to allow the ball wide to cross. And I'm looking at that, and you, we always want to deal with every ball that comes in the box, but I'm looking at that delivery for the first goal. Neegs and Anel are not really out of position. They, will, they want to deal with it, of course, they do, and they'll look back and be critical of themselves, but they're not really out of position. I think the second one is different. Antoine should press the centre back, doesn't, so Brooks he jumps out to press the centre back, leaves the spare man wide, so they just get a crossing easily. But then we should deal with that cross. Um, yeah, and it, un, it has undone so much good work when you see how many crosses we did deal with, the bodies on the line, the blocks. And then also the bravery and the quality for us to play and get the ball and, and, and pin Forrest in for large parts. Um, so when I spoke, I spoke to yourself and the rest of the press about how we want to play. So that's how we want to play with the ball. Add firepower at the top end of the pitch. We're, we're a difficult team to contain, no problem. Um, we still want more aggression without the ball, but we may have to change that slightly this season. We're in a different league, a harder league. So yeah, the message of players at half time, and then I think they understand me at full time, it's a reminder to the players who've been here a while, it's a reminder to, and, and exposure to the players who've just signed that there's a way we want to play, there's a way we lose a game um, and that's how I want to play and we see bravery and I'll back anyone who's brave, I'll back anyone who runs, I'll back anyone who competes and you bring what you are, you bring what your qualities are to our team and whoever's in front of us, I expect us to compete. You took Max Lowe off at half time, what was you thinking there? Yeah, um, he, he's, his ankle is, he is carrying his ankle, um, but I felt Yasser deserves an opportunity, uh, he was bright, he showed good energy when he came on, um, we've been working hard with him to get to settle and again show what his quality is, because he, he has got the athleticism, um, he has got the speed, he has got um, the dynamism to, to impact games at whatever level, so I think we saw glimpses of that tonight. Speaking of glimpses, I mean, yes, there was him, but as the game wore on, Souza took a commanding presence in the game, didn't he? Um, Triora became more of a, a nuisance, didn't he, in those areas of the pitch? The, the new lads are starting to show a bit, aren't they? Yeah, well, Vinny, listen, Vinny's not played since May. Not one game of football, so it's tremendous that he got that far. We were always thinking it's going to be 60 minutes. Uh, I think you see what he is. It's a presence. He's got composure on the ball. But he loves to compete, you know, he's celebrating when he tackles, he's celebrating and driving his teammates on to compete. Uh, and he's desperate to be here, he's, he plays with a smile on his face as well, he's, he's a top character, we, we love having him here. Uh, Benny, yeah, and, and you imagine, so Benny's doing a lot of the work at the minute, chasing Harry, and you imagine Benny higher up, you imagine Will and Benny coming on in that game today. These are the things, these are the margins, but we haven't totally got control of these moments yet to give us the best chance of winning. Um, but as I say, you know the work's getting done and you know we're trying hardest to make sure that we do. I purposefully left off a question about Harmer there as a, a new guy. I mean, what a goal, yeah. partic particularly allied to his, the rest of his second half performance. Yeah, well, he's another one who's, that's his first 90. It's uh, so a big jump up again, exposure for him. Less worried about him getting the minutes because he has featured and had football. Um, yeah, we know he's got moments like that. It's a great way to endear yourself to the fans. He's a player who will still get better when he understands us and what we play. I love how he plays, I love his energy he brings, I love how he risks the ball, I love how he takes chances. Um, but as he gets fitter and stronger and understands us and me a little bit more, you'll see a, a lot more to him without the ball as well. You've alluded to it, the search. I appreciate we speak to you very regularly, but how, how confident are you that between now 
e even sort of in the early part of next week, you'll be able to get somebody in to start working with them? Yeah, listen, we could get someone in. Do you know what I mean? But okay. whoever you, the players you're after, then yeah, no, that's that becomes more difficult. Um, but there comes a point where we have to do deals. We have to get them done. Um, and, and there's one, there's ones there that we can get done, and I'm pushing to get those done. It's, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult to get them done. You know, we're we're not well off. We're not. It's tough. Um, but we're trying our best, and that's it. And, and we're not. We don't want to compromise to her. We want the players to ring. We want to be as strong as we can be to win games. But also part of my brief is to make money for the club and develop players. And you know, it is. So we want players who I believe in. We want players who we think can go on and achieve more. And we can develop. So, yeah. Uh, but we've been. We know why we're in this situation. Some things out of our control. And it's put us on the back foot at the beginning of the season. But all, all I'm bothered about the players that's here right now, and I enjoyed that performance, you know. So I, I could take a lot from that. I said after that Palace game, regardless how we had to compromise, how we wanted to set up, and I didn't enjoy how we played to try and get the result. Um, we haven't got anything to fear. We, we want to enjoy. We want to attack every game just like that. And we have to accept sometimes that our best is not going to be good enough. We just have to make sure our best keeps getting better to pick up the points. Just finally, Ben Samani wasn't in the squad today. Yeah, he's just struggling with his hamstring a little bit. Again, uh, time to adapt. Um, yeah, picked up something. He was feeling it slightly before that game and he was finding the game, wasn't aware of it. But when we were doing the fitness work afterwards, it was just pulling a little bit. So there was a little bit of damage. Um, nothing we're too bothered about, but... With him not starting, I'm not going to take the risk. You know, we're light on bodies. So yeah, uh, he would have liked to have been involved. It would have been another game for him to uh, again to experience. And again, he's another one I want to experience and understand how we want to play.